Alright guys, I'm trying out another camera with my uh, camera mount that I made for this CNC back here. This new camera shoots in 1080p and has pretty good quality from what I can tell, but I wasn't sure how well it was going to work with the CNC. But I've shot a, you know, three or four clips. Uh, I want you to take a look at them for me and let me know what you think. If they're good, let me know. If they suck, let me know. <laughs> You know, just let me know what you think. Now, I'm only using the uh, umbrella light. I had it right over here by the corner. And so I know I don't have enough lighting because you can still see the shadows of the camera mount itself from the light overhead. But that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see if I've got rid of those interference lines from the LEDs. And it looks like this camera uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't have any effect with these LEDs. So. Check it out and let me know what you think and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, now that footage you just looked at was actually captured with one of my security cameras. This is just an extra one I've got. This is a Zosi brand, Z-O-S-I, and they film in uh, 1080p. Uh, it's uh, motion activated and all that stuff. And I've actually got one right up there that I can use to keep an eye on my GAT and CNC when I'm working back there in my office. I've noticed that they get really good quality. The pictures, you know, when you've got good lighting in here, they've got a pretty good picture. Uh, the problem I have with this one, again, like I said, the umbrella light just isn't enough light. You get a lot of shadows up under the gantry. But I just added this little angled uh, piece of HDPE, and this just kind of presses in there. It's kind of a, kind of a snug fit. And then I can just plug this in. I actually just ran a cable down through my hallway just to try this out. Uh, if it looks like this is something I'm going to use, I've got a uh, shorter cable that I can run through my drag chain and come out here. And then I can just uh, leave it kind of hanging here somewhere and plug it in only when I'm going to use it. And of course, this just, this just pulls out like that. Uh, but the first, the first part, the first couple of clips that you saw with a quarter inch end mill, they were running at 150 inches a minute, and I noticed it got a little jerky. And you would, as I was standing here watching, I could see this thing wiggling, but it didn't look too bad in the, uh, you know, in the clip. And then the other uh, bit was uh, one eighth inch, and I was running at it 100 inches a minute, so it was a little slower, and it was doing all profile cuts, so it was nice and steady with that one. So anyway, I don't know, this may have uh, some potential, uh, just a matter of getting some more lighting uh, up under here because there's just too many shadows and stuff uh, just trying to use the overhead lights. But the good thing is there wasn't any of those annoying interference bands like, uh, like I was getting with that other little action camera. So let me know what you think. And also, if you're interested in rotary axis, 
uh, CNC stuff. I'm going to be doing a bunch of that here coming up. Um, so if you like that, uh, you want to be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Uh, and also be sure and hit the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. And of course a thumbs up is always great too. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Thanks for taking the time and letting me know what you think of this camera. Uh, again, I don't know whether I'll shoot a whole lot of video with it or not, but it is an option. Uh, and at least it doesn't have those annoying lines. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.